Now I'm just going to put this out there. Whose bright idea was this? Because this is not a good idea. It is absolutely hoying it down out there. You got the main man who I'm meeting up with. We're going for a bimble and he's on navigation duties, which is just a mistake, which is why I bought the OS map so I can actually keep on track of actually where we are because we know he's not exactly uh, healthy in the navigational department, is he? We're going to be exploring a place that we've not explored before in the Shropshire Hills. Uh, Dave's coming. He's due any minute. I played a blinder. He always gets there first, gets the best parking spot. Who noticed? So uh, I told him 12.30 and I was here at 12. So I got the best space. <laughs> so that said, enough waffle. Let's get there and let's get this bloody hike on the way. Welcome to Dave Outdoors. And there he is. So we've started then, we've started our route from Wentnor, heading up to the Shropshire Hills. Look who we're out with as well once again. It's the top man. He's uh, made it out and we're actually going for a camp tonight. So it is just me and thee. So what I will do, I'm not sure the route, he's organized this. So what I will do is I'll grab it off him and then we can, um, I'll put it on the screen so you guys can see at the route later on of what we've actually done. Or what I'll do actually is I'll put it on now so you can see. But we're heading from here. We've got a bit of a steep incline, I believe you said, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a bit of cross country and then uh, up the side of them into Pole Cottage. And then uh, there is a little loop after that that takes us out to Packet Stone Hill. We may or may not do that bit, depending <laughs> on how it goes. So I think you guys know already we're not going to be doing that bit. So uh, <laughs> the route has been doctored. So as you guys have seen, then the weather today is not exactly the nicest. This is the type of terrain we're having to contend with today. Muddy fields, and as you can tell, gated up, waterproofs on, <coughs> because it's not gonna be the nicest of walks today, I don't think, but cloud. Okay. Hey? I'm gonna piss it on the hill through there. <laughs> yeah, she, she pulls up the hills quite well, so uh, I'll take her off your hands. <laughs> just. <laughs> it's gonna be a painful one today. There hasn't been much uh, hiking as of late. That's my that own right. fault. Yes, that needs to be put right, that does. But uh, I think that is our destination just up here. So if I zoom in, you might see it. There's a house and then it's making our way up the mend there. Yeah, cracking route you've chose again, mate. So navigational duties, just checking where uh, whereabouts we are going. I say we just head as the crow flies somewhere. You know where you're going this time, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Of course he does. Go on, up you go. That's it. Good dog. Oh right, but I'm actually going the right way, you mean? Is that all you need to Yeah, to be fair, you obviously you've just caught the back end of this conversation, but I was just saying. He's actually taken us a route that I've never been before and he actually knows where he's going for a change. So we're actually at Upper Standback now. Upper, yeah, Upper Standbatch we're at. Yeah. That's how we know we're there. <laughs> Says it on the... <laughs> and this route... <laughs> <laughs> so this route I've not done before, but... Um... All right, Till. Chill out, Mom. Just stop jabbering. Exciting. Let's go. Yeah, all right. So without further ado, I'll put a map on the screen now so you can see where we are. I've never been up this way before, the Shropshire Hills, which is very unlike me. But uh, let's tackle it and let's see where it brings us out. It's a nice little house in the middle of nowhere. I think this is Upper Sandbatch, I think. And this path at the moment is, um, well, taking us to the middle of nowhere. But he says he has it under control, so... Uh, Let's see what gives. I'll come in, I'll come in. <laughs> Cracking view up here, folks. Have a look. Ah. 
Right, so we've got this last bit of track work to do here. So it is this crap terrain. And then that should bring us out at Pole Cottage. Once we get up there, it's a nice descent down, but it's a bit of a circular route we're doing to the pub, just in time for hopefully when it opens and then go and do a nice stealthy van camp somewhere this evening. Got your dinner in van. Right, you guys can probably see now, we have hit the road. Um, Pole Cottage is up that way. What our man here decided to do, and to be fair, it actually worked this time, uh, was a shortcut. I was going along the proper way, but you, you said you wanted to. Well, I said, well, I'm sure we can do a shortcut here. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it was my idea. And he says, yeah, I'm well up for that. Let's so do uh, that. It yeah, was the, was the and it, it actually worked this time. Unlike quite a few previous other times where we've done Wales Coastal Path, we've done Times Round here, Heart of Wales Line Trail, you name it, he's got us lost. <laughs> but today it seems to be working out all right. We're on the top of the Long Mind and the rain has just started to come down now. You got an itch, kid? Go on, itch it. Got it? That's it. Feel better? Right, you guys won't believe this, but we've decided to take another shortcut. This time, it is my suggestion. And we're coming down here, and I believe, uh, once we get just over the, the brow here, it starts to decline very quickly and rapidly. But I suppose taking this shortcut would actually give us an idea of any more camping spots around here. Yeah, it looks nice and smooth. Oh, look at that for a view as well. You can't really see much because of the, uh, the old clag, but um, if that starts to break away, what a view that'd be. So, without further ado, let's get down this hill and head to the pub. Bit of uphill, guys. Pull, my fellow dog. Pull. Let's get to the top, and then uh, you can uh, you can have a back, oh, mate. <laughs> busted my secret. Oh, guys, just like that, the old walk comes to an end. We're almost back at the pub. As the hill has now finished, I've handed yeah. the respective dog back to the owner. <laughs> yeah. So as we're just walking through uh, Wentnor, just found these couple of signs as well. And the most appealing one to me is actually where we're heading. Best try one at the Crown. That's exactly what I'm going to do now. Cheers, you filthy animals. Cheers. Cheers. That is well earned. <laughs> Sat at the table like everybody else. <laughs> You're nice from Fort, mate. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Chicken. Oh, go yeah, on, go on, Chris. get it in you. So that's the crown at Wentnor done then. Well, make sure you go and stop her and have something to eat if ever you're in the area and you're going for a bimble or something. Uh, lovely people in there, great service. Was that technically our starter, was it? That was a starter, yeah. So uh, for you guys that are watching, um, we're actually having a, another meal later on. So the time is probably about four o'clock. Uh, and he's cooking fish finger. What is it? Some like little Hello Fresh thing, isn't it? Yeah, Gusto they call it. Hashtag not sponsored, by the way. Yeah. So um, let's see if I can mess it up. They have come in bloody useful today. Because that has been a bit of a bog fest, in all honesty. <laughs> here at the bog mine another place we come it's awesome just have a look at this for a view a couple of hikers just setting out here it's raining a little bit but again that doesn't put us off you guys know this we've challenged all sorts in the past 
couple of other van lifers just the other side. I think they're moving actually, but there's a couple of other van lifers here. So if that's you and you're watching, shout out to you. <laughs> oh, look at it now. <laughs> Beautiful, mate. So he's going to get back into vlogging soon, because check this out. Uh, what is it? I bought this to inspire me. It's like a little gimbal for the phone. It's magnetic on there. It's mag... Oh, wow, okay. And, and what is it? What's it called? Uh, Insta360. Let's have a quick look at the functionality buttons on it. Oh, I haven't quite worked all them out yet. Oh, firmware update. Oh, I'll have to wait. So, yeah, you uh, press that, and you get the front camera okay and a little joystick so we can angle it down at me hello and that's tracking the tracking thing will follow you so wherever you move it around it'll keep bloody hell that's good isn't it so you can put it down and then do your walking away thing and it'll follow you it'll move the camera and keep i did you. so the, the, the you guys some of you are watching this you're probably going to be wondering are you going to get back into filming again then yeah <laughs> yeah so right, that's little legs come out, look, so you can plonk it down and then leave it and it'll track you. Kind of got it for the kids, really, because they do a lot of horse riding. So they could put that down, lock it onto themselves and then uh, ride the horse and it'll follow them around the arena. Right, so after we've had a bit more rain, it's actually uh, decided to come a bit good now. But that side... The chief gopher here. I'm not mentioning this, are you? Yeah, I'll mention it. Oh, cheers. So, yeah. basically, they've got the instructions here. So, in theory, you just can't go wrong because they, they give you the stuff to go in it. But I've put the wrong things together. So, oh, dear. Shall I, shall I show them? That's supposed to be runny. That's supposed to be runny. It just does not know what to do. It's peeing down at the minute. But look at this. We've got a glorious sunset. going to... Well, hopefully it's going to be happening after, but as you can tell by the state of the bloody car park, Jesus Christ. Just had a chat with these guys the other side of us. Ladies from Shrewsbury, hey, hometown. And the other guy is from Bedford, I think he said it was. Perfect. Anyway, time to crack another beer. And then I might uh, get the bed set up because uh, if it's going to pee it down, it's not going to be much to do, is there? And the bed is made. I know, it doesn't look much like a bed, does it? Let's be honest, it's just a little, um, little um, duvets that we used to take out while camping. But the sun has now gone, the weather has sorted its shit out. We've just been speaking to this couple here who are from... Hollywell? I'm sure it was Hollywell. But anyway, sunset. Our man here is getting himself all tucked in, ready. And that can only mean one thing. It's movie night. But I'm not going to be watching a movie tonight because... There's only one, well, there's only one couple that I want to watch their new video on YouTube tonight. Let's cut to it. What a view. What a view. I've gone for Sherpa stew. Go on, get it down, you lad. Go on. Forwards bucket list. Link in the description. Morning glampers, excuse the bed air this morning, it's a bit RAF. What a cracking sleep that was, that's probably the best sleep I've ever had in the camper van, I was out. The time is, well I'll tell you what time I was at, the time's almost 8 o'clock and I didn't get up till quarter past 7, which is very much unlike me. Right, it's time to get squared away. Get the bird up. a bit more refreshed obviously the bed hair's not and you guys have just seen some cracking views there from the when i took the bird up but another fantastic camp here at the bog mine and i just want to say a massive thanks to you guys for joining me on this adventure it's it was a great walk yesterday it was certainly um 
an eye opener. So there's going to be plenty more walks coming for me anyway. That was just a bit of an insight into how my fitness has declined quite rapidly. Quick word with the main man himself. Hey, hey all right, Mom. Many thanks for joining us on this one, pal. Much appreciated. They, Same they, here, mate. They're, they're all saying to the screen now that they want to see your back making videos. So, uh, obviously, you guys have seen the equipment he's bought, so he's going to be back out making them very soon, aren't yeah, you? In the next, definitely in the next couple of years, there should be another video. <laughs> there you go, straight from the horse's mouth. Stick around, next couple of years. But I just want to say a massive thanks to you guys for joining us on this video. We'll be back out maybe in a couple of weeks. There may not be a video next week. It depends if I can get out or not, because I'm down Huntingdon, St. Ives area this week. But by the time this video goes out, I would have already been back. So if you've enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. Leave me a comment. It really does help the channel out, especially with the algorithm. So even if you're contemplating it, please hit the like button and leave me a comment. It really does help. Stay safe. Have a good week. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on another adventure.